Hey guys and welcome back. Today I thought I'd share with you how we decorate our real Christmas tree. This has always been a tradition in my family where we would go and get a real tree and decorate it to get in the festive spirit. This one we picked up from our local garden centre this year and the best real trees that I recommend are the Nordman fir as the needles don't tend to drop as fast and the smell of them is just gorgeous. So every year I use the same decorations but I'll always add more or take away things. And the best way I find to decorate is to start by laying everything out just so you can see what you have at first. This year I decided to take away our grey decorations and go for a colour scheme of red, white and natural. I adore the farmhouse decor look so that is what I was trying to aim for. I've mentioned this in previous videos but Ben and I like to collect memorable decorations from all our trips that we've been on and it's just lovely to look back each year and see where we've travelled to. Okay, first things first, I always start with the lights just to see if they work obviously before we start decorating the tree with them. These beautiful white lights have a ton of different settings and they are from Wilco a good few years ago but I'm sure they would still have them in stock this year. And there is a Sully making his Christmas debut. So I want to know from you guys um, which way do you put your lights on the tree and do you always start with the lights first? We usually plug them in and start from the bottom and just work our way round and up. And these lights are nice because there's no need for a second box, there's always enough to fit around the whole tree. Next I added some fake snow to give it an even more wintry feel using this snow spray from Poundland. Just be sure it's fully dried before you go ahead and decorate. Then to scent the tree even more I used the scent sticks in the scent snowberry reef. There's six in a pack and they come in all different scents. I will pop the link to them down below. And all you do is use the hooks provided and hang them on the tree or wherever you want the scent to be. I use three of the sticks right in the base of the tree and then three in our garland on the stairs. And the smell of these is beautiful and it definitely gives me all the festive feels when I walk into the room. This year I wanted to add some burlap ribbon to give it a more farmhouse look. I wasn't sure how I was going to place it in the tree as real tree branches are so random in sizes compared to a perfectly symmetrical fake tree. So a tip I would use is to cut the ribbon up first and then place a piece in and step back and have a look and then put your next piece in until you're happy with how it looks overall. If you'd seen my Christmas decor haul, I did buy two reels of the burlap ribbon, but I decided the first reel was enough in the tree if I was going to add all the decorations to. So I'll probably use this other burlap pattern in another garland. The other thing new that I bought this year in my Christmas haul, if you haven't seen that I'll link it down below, was these curly red branches or foliage and I just placed these in the tree all in the different tiers and I really like because they were curly how they just stuck out and these were a bargain because they were only £2 and you got a good 
decent size amount of them and these were from Sainsbury's. Next it was time to add some red berry sprigs and I just wanted to put these on the edge of the branches just all over the tree so just randomly. These are actually tree toppers, um, not tree toppers, present toppers from Poundland. I've spoken about these before. They come in a pack of six and they are in the gift wrapping section. So I just added these with some wire to the edge of the branches and I really liked how it turned out. Finally, it was time to decorate the main part of the tree with a mix of red and white baubles and our sentimental ornaments as well. Ben thought it would be a good idea to add the sentimental travel ones up the top first, then we could see what room we had left to decorate the rest of the tree with what I like to call the filler baubles. So the red ones I mentioned in my haul video were from B&M. They were in a pack of 20 for $2.99 and they came with shiny glitter and matte red baubles. And I'm also using these wire hooks that I mentioned in that haul video as well. I decided to cut off the string and use the wire hooks because I feel these helped hang the baubles better in the tree in exactly the place you wanted them. These hooks came in two sizes and also in a green colour but I mostly used the smaller ones as I wanted the decorations that I hung more inside of the tree to look like they were hanging right off the branch if you know what I mean as opposed to floating off the branch if I'd used the string. And fast forward a few days later as it was getting dark I just wanted to see and finish the tree off fully in the light and I just added all of the remaining baubles again placing each one stepping back to see how it looked and then seeing if I needed to add any more and that is it guys I loved how this tree turned out this year with all our travel decorations and the burlap the snow spray and also the berries. Let me know what theme you're decorating your tree this year. I'd love to know if you're going for a traditional colour scheme or maybe something a bit more colourful. Before I go, I also wanted to share with you guys how I recycle the offcuts from the tree too. These I usually place in the garlands on the TV unit to fill in any gaps. And it just gives it overall a more realistic feel and it's so easy to do guys all you do is just cut the branches to the size you want and place them in the garland I will be sharing with you all of my new Christmas decor that I added this year in a separate video coming up but for now thank you so much for watching guys Give this video a big thumbs up if it inspired you and also you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys, bye!